welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and this is my favorite week we have ever had. This is the Audi RS6, and today we can finally unlock the thing. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this car. It is genuinely my favorite car in the world. All we need to do to unlock the Audi RS6 is get 20 points in the festival playlist. But before that, what is in the Forzathon shop. That is an excellent car. Let's unlock the Audi RS6, baby. 20 points later, the Audi RS6 is officially ours. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to say this. Thanks to today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Thanks so much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Manscaped is trusted by over 8 million men worldwide to make sure they're smooth, smelling good, and succulent. And you can get that by using this. This is the Lawnmower 4.0, and it can give you a nice trim. And then this is the Weed Whacker 2.0, and it can get all of the nose hairs and ear hairs. Yes, you, especially you. So please go and check out Manscaped and use the link in the description down below so they know I sent you or they'll never work with me again and my balls will smell. I'm not even joking. They make a ball deodorant. So use code AR12 and get 20% off your order and free international shipping. So what are you waiting for? Get shiny balls today. Click the link in my description. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Uh, thank you to Balls for subscribing. Much appreciated. <laughs> We shall mark May 11th as the international day of worldwide simping for Audis. <laughs> Anyways, as per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the Audi RS7. First fun fact of the day, I'm dyslexic and I'm probably going to be getting my numbers confused many times. Moving on, back to the Audi RS6. The Audi RS6 wasn't actually sold in North America up until very recently, until like 2020 or 2021 or something like that. Prior to that, the Audi RS6 was only sold back in the early 2000s. And let's just say that those cars have a, have a history of exploding. This thing doesn't explode. And it also doesn't crash because of its massive brake caliper. I know they might not look like anything crazy, but you see the actual brake rotor in there? That brake rotor is 17 inches. That brake is the same size as the wheel on my Raptor. <laughs> if for whatever reason you do need to swap out the brake calipers on this thing, it'll run you about 10 grand. Other than that, it is genuinely my favorite car and I really, really, really want one. Other than the fact they cost like 150 grand here in Canada. Maybe one day. Does the Audi RS6 have any customization? Let's see. Yes, let's go, ABT parts. So we can turn this into the Audi RS6 R. You want another fun fact, actually, I bet you didn't know about? Did you know you could actually move the camera in the in the garage here? Look, I can just back up the camera. <laughs> in the spirit of the Audi RS6R, look at those carbon fiber exhausts on there. How cool is that? Are these side skirts or is it the cool fender thing? It is the cool... Yo, look at the wing mirror. That wing mirror is awesome. What engine swaps do we have? So a 6.2 liter V8, a 5.2 liter V10 out of the Audi R8, and a 2JZ. Why? I'm going to keep the stock engine in it. We are also all wheel drive already, so we will keep it like that. Semi slicks would be really nice. I'm thinking a middle of S1 build for this thing, by the way. And I need some engine spacers. Bring them on out, baby. I'm actually going to toss in a six-speed gearbox into this thing. I don't need all of the gears that it usually comes with. Let's go for that and a race differential. Then I will get some race suspension. We do have drift suspension. Of course, we will come back to that in a second. We weigh 4,400 pounds with race weight reduction. A thousand pounds gets tossed in the bin. Maybe we won't be top of S1 class, but I think this should be pretty close. Okay, what about upgrading those twin turbo? That's the play. 641 horsepower. We weigh a lot less than we did before. Last but not least, before we hit the open road, we need a spicy paint job. So boring gray, boring gray, boring gray, blue, 
and red. Oh, that's such a good red. However, in real life, they actually sell this thing in two other colors. A really, really cool green. They also sell an Audi RS6 RS edition. I think that's what it's called. But they sell it in like the OG blue. There's my blue. I got my blue back. That looks so sick. Smash, smash. Smash. I gotta go. Gotta clean up. Nothing to see. I am genuinely too distracted by the car looking this goddamn cool to actually tell you anything about it. Send it upside. All of the AI. Because I'm a big estate all-wheel drive boy, I kept... Okay, maybe... Uh, I take back what I said about it being slow. Apparently, all you need to do is just not break. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just, it is the coolest car out today. That is the story and that is the end of it. Everything about it from like the black roof to all of the carbon fibery bits to that beautiful blue paint job. I don't actually know how much horsepower an RS6R has, but I feel like 650-ish horsepower is probably a fair place for it. And I feel like this is pretty accurate. Wait, chat says it's 740 horsepower? Correction, next build, we will make it even faster then. Is that an RS5 in front of me? This is unacceptable. You cannot win. Do you think if I crash into him, can I crash? Can I crash? Can I crash? Get a run, get a run, RS6. No! I mean, we had the fastest lap time, but it is a shallow victory. What out of these engines is going to be the most powerful? I think it's the 2JZ. 1,300 horsepower. I do apologize. If you are a purist, I would like to win the next race. Oh my god, I'm S2 class. We're not gonna lose a race this time. Chat really wants me to paint this thing. Audi green. There we go. That, that is so sick. I don't think anybody's ever asked this question before, but what is a green car with gold rims like? Or is that just way too much? It kind of works. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. How about white? Oh, white rims are pretty cool. Okay, white rims it is. This is gonna be a hard race. I'm gonna need to work for this victory if I actually want to get it. Okay, shift. That was not a great shift. I should actually take this thing to the drag strip and see what it can do on our quarter mile. Again, I know it's not gonna be OP out there, but it could be, I have got a green buddy. Let's go, I've actually got many green friends. I'm just saying the world needs more green cars. Green is just a cool color. This is though where I think things are gonna get a little harder. I'm actually not getting that much understeer considering the big all wheel drive nature of it. Get up the inside of the Jag. No way. Ah! That's first. I thought this race was going to be significantly hard. There's the understeer. <laughs> I really wish they actually had cop lights for this thing like the other Audi RS6 they have in the game. That would have been really cool. See you later, Infinity. Bye. Understeer? Nah. It's called Audi Steer. <laughs> ah, I see another Audi driver has joined us. <laughs> It is what it is at the end of the day. The best part about this, the meter long flames that just come out of the exhaust. It's so sick. It is a first place in style. I really quickly want to try this thing out on the drag strip. I want to try it upgraded and stock. I wonder if it's actually a 10 second car stock. Since I've actually got all of my upgrades already on this thing, why don't I just swap on my drag tires immediately? That drops us back down into S1 class. I think this should be good. There's some people in chat who's saying like mid sevens, but I think the majority of chats around an 8.2, 8.3. Let's see kind of bogs off the line, but then it should pick up the speed pretty nicely. Go, 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 go. My gears, almost perfect for that. An 8.4, an 8.4 in real life for a car like this would be terrifying. Make it completely bone stock. Is it a 10 second car? Chat also said I needed to check if it has rear wheel steering and it does. Look at the rear wheels. I would really like it to be in the 10s, but I feel like more likely it'll be in the 11s. Oh, that launch is just a little slow. Come on, 600 horsepower. 600 horsepower at the end of the day. Keep going, 
Keep going. Oh, it is an 11 second car. An 11.6. It's not slow. Like, again, for an estate car, that is scary fast. But I would have loved it to be a 10 second car. Our third and final build. Let's turn this into a drift car. The Audi RS5 was one of the best drift cars I have ever made. Let's see if the Audi RS6 is even better. It's got a really long wheelbase, which means it should be very stable for drifting. Did you guys know the next generation of RS6 has already been announced? They haven't shown it off just yet, but apparently it is a plug-in hybrid. That's literally all they said about it. There is a new RS6 coming in 2025. I am sorry I just ruined your day. <laughs> AKA, if you want a big burbly V8 Audi RS6, uh, get this one. In we go. Audi RS6 R. Send it through. Oh, beautiful line beautiful line. This is like one of those slow and steady cars. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. At least with this engine, it doesn't have the horsepower to make it through. No, we can't. No, no. I refuse. I refuse to end on an L. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Shh. Shh. It's not illegal. I did the thing. At least I'm now on brand. That's a lot of angle. <laughs> you know you're really pushing it when you can't see the road. That's how much angle you have. Okay, I lost all my points from too much angle. Come on, there we go. 100,000. 100,000. Looking good. Come on. Come on. Keep the power up. Keep the power up. Beautiful. There's 170. Keep going. Keep going. Not too much angle. There's 210. 220. Oh, 229. Are you kidding me? This is the best car in Forza Horizon 5. It just is. I love the Audi RS6 and this has only made me love it more.